tem... Alright guys, thank you so much for getting the three subs. And please go subscribe to Sway Savage. And I left his link in the description. So please go subscribe to him. He does a lot of Fortnite videos and he did one Brahalla video. Which I want to know if I should do. But just comment down in the comment section if you want to do it. So, since I got three subs, I'm going to be going to franchise mode and continuing with my franchise. And I do not have force trade on. And this is, like, my pitching lineups. And there's no force trade. And then, yeah. So, I'm just going to start a game up quickly. I feel like I should do throwback. Here we go. Just do those pants. And let's get this game started. And I honestly don't know how I could get this team without force trade. But I did it somehow. By drafting Mike Trout first pick and then just wanting a lot from him. I'm undefeated in this and just wish I could be undefeated in Diamond Dynasty. for the two viewers. MLB The Show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Park. Today, it's the finale of this. Johnny Cueto is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. EK, what's the word on him? Well, Maddie, Let me just take check a out look at that settings. What that means, Wait, I need to go do something first. Okay, I came back, sorry. Then I'll keep on playing. TJ Kelsey is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Eric, this Ranger ball club as they begin play. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the year to go. Not only have they been playing well, Gary but they got their ace the going here this afternoon. So the rich get richer. The same as in Chop foul at the plate. He Dynasty. stays alive, still 0-2. Thank you for the one like. No, two likes. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. And now the starting and lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Playing okay, with any the thoughts? batting well, difficulty. Someone that's trying to um, work through some stuff right now. It's on All Stars, so. Maybe there's a little bit of a hangover no, going on right now for him because his numbers aren't great. But Number I'll... 10 is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. No, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow by guys. Thank you for the three views in the third life. Number of the 30 video. gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. Cueto's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Barely able I to make contact you're gonna down do and two now. Diamond Dynasty Just for underway you to in Arlington. Do a franchise with no force trade. So you could get your timing swing of your swing will end the inning. better and like your pitching locations more better. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not like when Marcus I'm on stream, Stroman this is what is I'll, ready to go. So I'll be on the hill so for Baltimore. What do you have for us on Amike? 
time. Well, remember, guys, he's a young hit. pitcher, still garnering a lot of experience, and he has a lot of upside. If he continues to improve, he's going to be around this league for a very long time. I can't wait to watch him in this one. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Marcelo Zuna will stand in, getting the start like, here despite you being out of the lineup last night. Get them like almost like a guaranteed hit. You should just press options, look at their substitution, which is here, and see where the pitch is. No, I mean, sorry, like where he's most likely to hit it. And you, like you should aim it there and do that. First pitch of the at bat. And like aim it there. Behind on that one, and now then, behind in the count, 0-1. Like, you'll either pull it, or if they're doing the shift, Into the wind -up, you here could comes the 0 and 1. aim it the opposite way. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Which I'll show you an example with David Ortiz, if someone's not on base. On the ground, up the middle, backhanded. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two if gone now. Is on base with David with a moment Ortiz, now, take a look at the defense for the Orioles. Wait until it's brought next to us inning. by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, over at shortstop in this one, we'll see an yeah. arm that you don't see very often. Yeah, so he I'll has just a get cannon. out with He's the type of guy, Arenado. he could kick a ball, boot it, still pick it up, and get the runner at first. Mm -hmm. Nolan Arenado is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Well, these Orioles entering play today, Eric Karros, they've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once in their previous 10 games. And to make matters worse, they've got to square off against one of the best mm -hmm. pitchers in the game, so it's not going to be easy to turn things around here. David Ortiz will get a David shot Ortiz. here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. The that two out single seemed harmless like enough, but any time you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, better be careful. And this is taken for a strike by the 40-year-old veteran. No balls and a strike. Yeah, and in a good hitter's park like this one, it's going to be even more important than usual to keep that fastball down. That's right where he's got to be living. Two out with the man at first. And again, if you want to leave a comment, please do about what game I should play and how I can improve my content. I'm putting up on YouTube for you guys. Seared down the first baseline. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Giancarlo Stanton stands in trying to cash in in the first inning. Runners at the corners, two away. Yeah, and if nothing else, they've at least done a pretty good job of making this starter work right here in the first inning. First offering on its way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. I really don't yeah, like even prefer John Carlos Stanton to be on your team. He's not a guy back down out there. He comes right after like, him with a fastball. He, and he just gets strikes ahead. out a lot. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Or you could. Leave a comment saying if you want me to do it. And he pumps the fastball video. by him at 94. Really it's 0 and 2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really and messing around. You could go check out, out his YouTube channel and leave a sub. He's just inning. trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Go to first, and that gets him out of the jam. I have to work Rangers on that leave so a much. pair. After one, no score. Brett Wallace will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Well, when you're hitting under 200 for the season, games like yesterday are going to happen on a regular basis. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on I'm the black. I'm thinking about yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove MLB on some of these, and 19, it literally does not move. That's I how good his stuff is. I have to see how my YouTube channel goes, and if it's Fastball worth Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. 
Well, pitching like this deserves another look through as we check out the last four batters on show track. Here he was striking out the side the previous inning, and he starts things off here with another one. That's four in a row now. Here's Steve Pierce now as he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. On the ground to third, gloved by Arenado. Right, if you want to really get him for two Diamond down. Dynasty, my suggestions are putting your putting your hitting difficulty to legendary, and putting your like what is it called? On um, like putting your oh wow. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. No score here as we play inning number two. Thank you. Cueto into his motion. Here's the 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and a miss. Blew the what is it on? right by him, and the inning is over. Gary Sanchez will dig in now, and he's got to be wondering when his bat's going to make the trip north from spring training as he has really struggled in the early going. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, what a pitch wow. to start oh, the yeah. at bat there. It's nothing in one. Yeah, he yeah, really pulled off of that one, and that's not good. the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy really like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 2. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first sliders. out. Uh, I know my job here is to be an analyst and to Batting try and add some insight to what's hitter. happening on the field. Andrew, but folks, the words cannot describe how badly he got pulled on that pitch. I I'm not even going to try. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Liner towards second. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there. He got him. Oh, what if a play. If they ever I mean, slide it's so like nice that, 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 that you can never cover some need ground. to slide. Oh, like it might get through up the middle. I always but look at him make the sliding and stop, and that's going to take him right into really a good didn't throwing didn't position. And he's able to get enough on that throw to get the out at first. Matt Holliday is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. One home run and four RBIs. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. There's a line drive to the left side, and Simmons won't have a shot. It's over his head for a base hit. Diamond Dynasty earlier today. And it says, like, well, to remove your picture from the batting the order and pinch hit season, a person for it. If it's in the early there, innings, do not hit. do it. Because my picture got a hit. We'll stand in, hoping for so, a reversal of fortune here as he's seen that average drop yeah, precipitously they could get these past 10 ball games. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Jason Worth. Will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Soy Savage. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Cueto sends his sights, coming at him with the 0-1. And, and it's quickly 0-2. Jude! Jude! 
How do I? Oh, wait, can you come here? Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. And here's that sequence once again right here on show track. How do I up the bat like for the batters to hit the ball? Oh here in this at -bat. Each one of these pitches finds the strike zone and they're able to set them down quickly to lead off the inning. Standing in now, number 19. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Getting on base, a base Just gonna see if I know how. One home run and a couple RBI. Base running decisions. Guess pitch. And he watches a cold strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. And I'll tell you, being in a two strike if hole you're is watching, not the spot I'm you want to be in like, I want like you to comment right down to below in like, time to see first, and there are two if away. you would like to watch me creating a franchise and picking the worst players and playing Simmons. games with them. We'll stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three I'll innings. I'll finish the season. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. And let's they see if I could win a World Series. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And he's just running right through these guys. Absolutely worn them down. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0 and 2. And that couldn't have been an easy take. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. D. Gordon will dig in again. Leading he grounded out to start the home first. And he only saw a couple pitches, too. And that's great for the pitcher when you can get an easy leadoff out like that. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Yeah, he just really pulled off of that pitch. This is a two-seamer working its way down and Guys, away. And he wasn't even close. My mom just called me and told me she was eating out at a restaurant with her friend. And, and Saquon behind. Barkley Owen was two. there. So I muted my mic for that because it's private. Chop fouled over and towards the coaching box. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he's retired one away. My game is so glitchy. Like, if you look at a him. Fielder, number 13, Marcel. Like, Marcel he's just going back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a ball hit in the air. Pierce. In and foul ground. Are you from and New the first Jersey? baseman can't get there. Yes, Bottom I'm of inning number Jersey. three. Nothing, nothing our but score. My profile photo is just Bryce Harper because And I believe they'll I say like he broke the Harper. plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And I was distracted when I swung. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number Again, two. If you're watching you know, the this video, is one of the please few downsides to being a guy with tremendous strength. Now, once you get that thing started, so it's I'm really in a hard competition to put on the brakes, with Sway Savage. Breaking the plane right here, and that's strike three. And destroy your dam. Who could get the most subscribers? And Here's Nolan Arenado. Because we know each other. As this is grounded foul off to the left, it's strike one. The wind-up and the 0-1. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. 
in under the hands with a fastball. It's one and two. Jeez. Okay, guys. Finally. That's a Please first ball they've taken all night. Subscribe About to time, the link boys. in the description. Ready on one and two. Grounded to third. Wallace is right there. The person who blank I left first, in the description the is, over. is doing Rangers a set stream down in order. with we'll head to the fourth, still Dan. scoreless. And he's playing arena, arena duos with Destroyer Dan. TJ Kelsey will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Oh, there is my friend. And still looking for their first base runner too. Nine up, nine down. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Ozuna. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Now batting. Number, number 10. 10 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Cueto gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll reach over to his left to make the play, and there's your second out. Now batting, number 30. Number 30 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Chopped weakly to the left. Arenado has it. Throw on to Ortiz, and that'll retire the side. Orioles down on just four if you guys pitches. Leave on to the bottom of the fourth PS4 now, still with no score. Username, I would be glad to play like any game that I have with you. David Ortiz is set to lead us okay, off here. in the home this half of the fourth inning. Infield in shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Look Strike the one. Not much to shout about for either oh, team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, the nothing. The yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe to not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. That's lifted the other way out to left. Worth moves over. One out. The right fielder, number Giancarlo Stanton, Giancarlo is into the box. Stanton. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have if to you accept that it's going to happen sometimes. How? Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Um, a lot of these guys like have come into these at-bats trying to be the aggressor, photo trying to, be to make something happen. Player, but what has happened is that, that they've you swung want. and missed themselves I into some early holes. I could make a YouTube holes. video about that and how to get right it. Right over the top oh, with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Yeah, in the comment he was out section. front right there, probably guessing fastball. But now, 0-2, you can't be guessing anymore. you got to find something in the strike zone and put it in play. That misses one and two. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now, and that's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Gary Sanchez comes to the plate looking to put so the ball much. in play. So he went down on strikes last time. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. Good off-speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. The worst balls on this pitch right here are the curveball and the slider. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. All right. Now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. High in the air into shallow left center. Worth is under it. And that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Through four, still tied. Brett Wallace heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. 
Still pretty early, but they don't have any hits yet, so you need to get it going offensively. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah, three hits. Hit hard on the ground to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. In one hint, if now you're doing a franchise with no trade, Steve digging in to you try it again. Steve Pierce. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. That's available in the draft, and then you could trade him for Swung on and missed its own like one. Good person, well, he gets ahead of another and like hitter there, person. and I'm told he's thrown a first pitch strike that's to around I did. 90 I got percent of the batters Trout. he's faced so far, and that's Second pretty amazing. Pick. And then I and that's in there as well. Oh, and two now. And this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Salvador Perez digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. Yeah, they just haven't been able to figure it out yet, but it's still early. We're seeing some pretty good pitching so far in this game. Here's the 0-1. Here's a swing and a in high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And Arenado will make the catch to retire the side. my closing pitchers can last me the whole Andrew game. Andrew McCutcheon comes to the plate. And I only have three of them. Of the fifth. Which well, are, they still don't are have all the runs on the board yet. Them. So getting this leadoff on base Burton would be huge. And Kelvin Herrera. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. There's his total now just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too I out of the ordinary there. I actually played baseball there. for a uh, travel the pitch counts baseball the least team. Of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. Grilled right back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. And when your guy hasn't given up any hits, but there's definitely a pressure to at least hit a run Did on the that scoreboard. Look like and, a little well, that's a dab, good first step there. But not really a dab. Stepping in, Matt Holliday. He singled his last time up. On the ground to the left side. Fielded no, cleanly play, no, to second play. for yes, one. On to Pierce at first, and it's a double play. Yeah, I don't know about that. You've got a good a base dealer over there at first base. Ready. Why not give this guy a Cowboy. shot to run before you go up there swinging at the first pitch and ground into a double play? Freddie Galvez is like five As out of 31 at bats. Cuts left handed here. He has really struggled against right handed pitching so far this year. His average against right. And five for we'll 32. Have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Rangers down quickly on just four pitches. Sixth inning coming up. Jason Worth will stand in here to get things started okay, in the Baltimore I'm back up to three well, they still viewers. aren't even on the board yet, and so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. Because I'll really appreciate it, and maybe I'll buy it, like um, a new game and play it for you if you comment it in the comment section. Chop foul right at home plate at strike okay. one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Struck him out. And he becomes in Diamond the ninth Dynasty, strikeout victim. It's like thus far. nothing like franchise. What, he's throwing with a franchise, lot of it's confidence either right now. like you he's pop it up home run or you ground out. You know, he's thinking he's or like a straight out there ground so far ball he has been. into the outfield. But in Number Diamond Dynasty, it's like a line in. drive to the he's outfield. For one thus far. A home run ball. It's so much different than and this. He pops like, it what up. pop Back out like? Behind Maybe in Diamond base. Dynasty, it would just be like a straight. And quickly, two are like gone now here in the visitor's the half of the sixth. The batter, number two. At the plate, Andrelton Simmons. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. 
In there, strike one. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. I'm gonna say hot. Three subscribers. Tap foul this at home plate. To be my second Bases are empty here with done. two men out. Three people watching. Please comment if you're watching my video. And he so struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing it. D. Gordon gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown the team. And you know, guys, I Second love a guy baseline. like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Into the seats, 0-1. You are my dad, and that's why he's savage. Um, good curveball, oh, strike two. Distracted. For that man yeah, right there, you need look back savage. only to his I last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well I like on his, his way YouTube to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time. Wait, so One away. I left a link Center to his there. YouTube channel Marcello. in my description. Marcelo Zuna will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Yep, not showing too much so far, but he's got a chance to make something happen right here. Oh, See if you can put those other ABs behind him. And that's in there for strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. They and that's smart for most guys, 99. but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. Hot shot to third. Wallace shot, shot to third, ranges to his game. right. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Three lights on the video. Third baseman. Nolan Arenado will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, so put the ball in play. Sometimes right that's half currently. the battle. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Yeah, so he had a good pitch there. The this thing is toward the outside oh, part of the plate, but... He stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Into the box, David Ortiz. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Oh, wow. And it eats him David up a bit. Ortiz and a so good strong. effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the... T.J. Kelsey will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and a very even game through six innings. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Um, yes, I do you know that 19 came out. Trying to strike him out for I'm the second just time. Deciding to play 16 for a little, a little bit. late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Well, one thing you learn real no quick as a rookie, number 10. you don't get any easy at-bats at this level. you got to be thinking up there every single pitch because guys up here, they'll tear you apart if you don't. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Out in front of it, strike one. 0-1 oh, count, here's the pitch to short Galvis has it throw gets him two down now batter number 30 
number 30 will stride to the plate. He's 0 for 2 thus far. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still hearing the catcher's mitt snapping all the way up here. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Giancarlo Stanton steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and thrown. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Oh, and he breaks oh, out the right hook here. Good for strike two. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 like against a guy like this with the stuff he's got okay. tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. Sent on the ground out to second. A quick out number one. Now batting, catcher, Gary. Gary Sanchez, Sanchez will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Roman's ready. Here's the first pitch. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. And after another swing and miss on a pitch out of the zone, I think it's time to start taking a different approach. Yeah, they've fallen behind way too easy, haven't they? It, you're just not going to have a lot of success when you're always behind in the count. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. That's going to be low. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it, and there are two down now. now batting. And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt. Did you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far? He's ready. Here's the first offering. Andrew McCutcheon is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, also, he's doing, doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. Well, it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Like, everyone's doing, like, all 19 Tried videos. to get the arms extended, but he and couldn't. 1-1. Like one one. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. A little bouncer. Foul ball, strike two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Brett Wallace comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Still no runs on the board for either team, and it might come down to who can manufacture a run first. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0-2. Huh. He's feeling it now. I mean, this is turning into a clinic out there. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Steve Pierce. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Salvador Perez. Stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One, one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Got 
Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Matt Holliday set to lead things off when we come back. And we still... And there is Matt Holliday now. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Stroman steps into the windup. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Yeah, he's still got that good movement on the two-seamer. He's been throwing it well all night long. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Again, if you're watching, you can go check out Sway Savage's YouTube channel. Too high. One and two. All right, so he sort of wasted one up right there. Now I think we'll see a breaking ball down in the zone, trying to get him to swing and miss. Lifted in the air out to left field. After it is worth. But he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Up next for the Rangers. Well, that'll put the opposing team in big trouble as he gets the leadoff double. This game side, he's the go-ahead run out there, all pumped up about it, trying to get his teammates fired up as well. Capital S W A Y Y space. Capital S A V A G E. So just go check Freddy out his Galvis channel. Freddie Galvis will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time nice coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody you out. You also really want to score. You can. It, but Runner's on his sure way to third. Stealing. Looking to get that go-ahead run over to third as he gets this one down. And yes, the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Third. Wow. And and this is a great example of what this. not to do when a guy's trying to give himself up. I don't know if you heard someone yelling for third or what, but they wind up not getting an out you can make at them all. Steal this third, is a big and then bunch it down third. D. Gordon will step in that. now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance oh, at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. <laughs> he can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. It's really savage. Does oh, one pitch on its throws. way. Right side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's three for a base hit. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Marcelo Zuna stands into the box. He could really use the knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now both runners are breaking. One attempt misses. The throw down. And they will get the lead runner at third. A daring attempt with no outs on the scoreboard, and it doesn't pan out. Yeah, I don't know about the decision to run here. I mean, you've already got two guys on base. You've got a pitcher sweating bullets out there as it is. Now you've basically thrown him a lifeline and given him a free out that he hadn't really earned. And he's back standing. Keeping an eye on him. He's going to steal third. Runner goes for third. Pitch outside the He's throw. Right there. Not the nearly in time as he takes third easily. And let's just train our camera on that runner leading off from second. He's watching that pitcher like a hawk. So once he sees that he's not paying attention to him, he just takes off. And the head first slide gets him in the third just ahead of the throw. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. One run, eight hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Looking to keep this a one-run game. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Well, it's been a long afternoon for this guy. A couple of strikeouts to go along with that over four, but.
you know there's going to be better days ahead for this guy because he can play. Here comes the first pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Men on third with two down. Turned on that one and In crushed MLB it. Dy Diamond Dynasty, I will never suggest you to quit a game just because you're leaving. Not in front of I mean, that just one, because but he stays you're alive and will do because it again you on could get the stubs, like the coins. Just for playing a whole game and you still lose. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Quit, you won't get Line to the right side. Like a lot of stuff. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Rangers will have to be content with just the one. I don't We've have played a lot of full. It's the I Rangers one the and the Orioles nothing. Like a lot of stadiums. Wellington Castillo will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Wellington Castillo. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Put yourself in the shoes of that man right there. What's going through his mind right now? Well, I would guess he's trying to approach his ninth inning the same way he has earlier. But, Ron, we know his heart's racing. You've just got to focus on the glove and trust what your catcher's calling because he's done a heck of a job also. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Number 19 will take his third yep. shot at it now. He's 0 for 2 thus far here tonight. Well, what do they say? Third time's a charm? Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Bases are empty, one man out. And a bouncing ball, foul. Strike three. Comment. So now he's one out away from perfection. One out to go. So Can you believe out. this? Man, I wonder what's going through his head right now. Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton Simmons will stand in here as the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. Oh, man, this is history right here, guys. I'm right nervous here, for him, so I'm sure his heart is pounding right now. And this is fouled back and out of play. And now this crowd estimated at around 26,000 fans comes to their feet. Change up and he ain't buying it one and two. But well, you don't want to get caught looking on the final out. So that's a tough pitch to lay off. Yes, sir. Swing and a miss. He's done it. Okay. Perfect game. And that is so if you made it to this far I mean, in the video, thank you again. And just leave a comment. Down. And you know I what? subscribe if you're subscribed. I've and I'll give you a shout game. out. So it's one of the hardest and things for a picture in the world. Thank you for watching my video. It may be all broadcast during the week ones, but probably not cuz I do a lot of school studying. Okay. So, thank you. See you next time.